So, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, we have to start. Please take your places. So, uh, the participants of the International Conference invest in researchers, the conference that coincides with and uh, was planned for the period of the Lithuania's presidency of the EU Council. Uh, let me start by quoting, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> by quoting uh, Dixie Lee Ray. Uh, she was a famous marine biologist and the 17th governor of Washington. I found this quotation in the book written by Professor Peter Drang. Uh, the, book is, uh, the title of the book is Works in the Garden of Science. And he was a uh, president for the ALEA, the All uh, European Academies Federation. And uh, uh, Dixie Lee Ray, she said that uh, the general public uh, might be divided into two parts. Uh, those who think that science can do anything and uh, those who are afraid that it will. Apart from the totally divergent appreciation of its effects, this statement suggests that in fact all of us react affirmatively to the question, uh, does science matter? And uh, therefore it is my pleasure to welcome you at the premises of the uh, Lithuanian Academy of Sciences. Uh, since all national uh, academies of sciences pursue the key strategic goal uh, to consistently promote high level of research, studies and uh, education. Uh, this conference aims to discuss possibilities of better training and career for doctoral students and researchers in the context of EU 2020 process. In the context of the new EU financing period of 2014-2020. Uh, the goals of EU strategy, strategy 2020 are serious challenges for uh, European uh, countries and uh, also for uh, Lithuania. Lithuania, uh, which pretends to become the high-tech center of the Baltic and uh, Nordic countries. And uh, of course we understand in Europe and in Lithuania that only high level of research, development of technologies and uh, innovations can help Lithuania and other EU countries uh, su successfully compete, say, with the US, Japan, or South Korea. Uh, for a small country like Lithuania, uh, which cannot boast rich natural uh, resources, the only solution for stimulating economic growth is making use of intellectual potential. And here I must say that uh, Lithuania, in reality, it faces serious problems uh, in the context of human resources in research and development. Uh, I do not have the, the, the approved data for 2012, but according to the Department of Statistics of Lithuania, uh, from 2010 to 2011, the number of uh, uh, employees engaged in research and development in full-time equivalents decreased by 9% in one year. The number of researchers, uh, people uh, having a degrees, uh, decreased uh, during this period by 2004%. But uh, in reality, the, 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 the critical situation is with the training of PhD students in Lithuania. Uh, the number of persons who were awarded a scientific degree since 2010 to 2011 decreased by 
that's a really critical decrease for, for Lithuania and uh, we also see similar trends in many countries of uh, European Union. Uh, nevertheless, I believe that these two days in, 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 in Vilnius, uh, in the premises of the Lithuanian Academy of Sciences, will be productive in uh, planning our common future. Thank you for your attention. I, I would like to invite uh, our Vice Minister, uh, Dr. Rimantas Vaitkus, for a welcome address also. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear President. Uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you in Vilnius, in this very nice hall of uh, Academy of Sciences. Really, uh, Mr. President said about the figures that we really uh, are faced with, uh, I mean, uh, decreasing of uh, researchers. We still have 8,000 PhDs here in, in our country, and 10% uh, of them are working in the industry. Uh, and I just came today from the opening ceremony of uh, we are launching very big project of uh, life sciences. We will create a, a hub of, of uh, several universities and institutes uh, with modern equipment, which is worth about uh, 40 million uh, euros, uh, uh, and it will it will be built in uh, 2015. But I cannot imagine that this building can stand without people. That's why, for example, our government, who came into power exactly a year ago, so uh, we proclaimed like a slogan, people first. That is the, uh, the, the, the scope of the government that is now in the power in Lithuania. We understand that all the buildings, all the modern equipment is nothing without people. And uh, uh, that's why the conference in, West, uh, in researchers is so important for us because we understand that people really are first uh, on, on them conditions, on them, on them actually, uh, uh, yes, talking about the salaries and other things. We understand that the international cooperation is very important in order to increase the competitiveness of researchers in, in uh, Europe and or in all other uh, uh, countries in, in, uh, uh, all over the world. So I think this conference will be very fruitful in changing of ideas how to increase uh, uh, internationalization of uh, research, how to increase the um, mobility of researchers, how to uh, use structural funds, how to use uh, European programs that uh, allow us to, to, to have a good exchange and cooperation between institutions. Uh, Europe actually is like, like a one house, like uh, one a big lab, and we understand that uh, really uh, ideas are coming elsewhere. So changing of ideas, uh, uh, sometimes uh, on multidisciplinarity uh, findings, we are really creating a good uh, research. Uh, so I hope that this conference will focus attention also of uh, community, of our community, uh, to the our work, what we are doing, researchers in, in our labs, in our uh, offices, uh, because some, somebody uh, do not understand. That's why uh, our government is spending uh, a lot of money for increasing the attractiveness for, for the research career. We have different days of, of researchers in, in, uh, in our schools. We are showing experiments, inviting them to participate in, in uh, in uh, different activities, even uh, even organizing uh, such kind of laboratories in in, in streets. Uh, so I think that we will change our ideas, and 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 also we will talk about uh, other issues that are concerning with the uh, investment into research. I, I hope that this conference will be very fruitful. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Minister, and uh, we have with us the leader of the Association of Lithuanian Young Scientists, Ramoyus Remeris, and now floor is yours, please. Thank you very much. 
dear European Commission representatives, Lithuanian authorities, guests and colleagues. It is my great pleasure and honor to open Investing Researchers 2013 conference. This day is important because today the community of young researchers is literally put forward among our more experienced and better established colleagues. In recent years, investment in research was clearly declared as top priority of the European Union and established in the Europe 2020 strategy. Without human capital, the research is just a term in the dictionary to describe the activity. Therefore, the researchers are the key component of this strategy. And I must say, especially the young researchers, as they are the natural, natural renewal of the system. They are the fuel, the oil, and the ignition for the engine of the progress. Investment in the young researchers should be not only the priority of the research and higher education sector, but also a clearly formulated strategy of the country with identified resources and measures, with actions that will be taken directly to support the young researchers as the key competitive resource of every country in the European Union. With the efforts of national responsible institutions and the European Union support, the situation in Lithuania has been improving. Today we feel stronger and more integrated with the rest of the world. At the moment it seems that conditions for visits to the institutions and conferences abroad are good. We can get fellowships and grants. Though the salaries remain quite low and administrative burden for all the possible support is still high and deterrent. Another risk for the research and higher education system is the reality of brain drain. The negative outflow can affect the further development of the new generation of young researchers. Should the ones that left be attracted back, or should they be replaced with researchers from other countries? Do we have a strategy or at least a vision for that? The future remains not very clear, as the number of students is decreasing, and the higher education system has no clear strategic vision for the increasingly global and rapidly changing environment. Our higher education institutions should identify themselves more clearly in the national, regional, and European Union levels. The European research and higher education sector is under constantly increasing competition. It is very important to concentrate all resources to promote the researchers' careers. The available funding and networking opportunities should be used in the best way for all groups of the researchers considering the socio-economic conditions of every member country. I believe Invest in Researchers 2013 conference will help to answer these questions and will set the guidelines for the investment in researchers not leaving the future behind. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, dear colleague, and uh, we're closing this opening session, and I invite Dr. Uh, Moskolunas. Uh, he will be the moderator of the first plenary session. Please.